Okay, so this is part three, the final part of the Halloween Horror Nights 2013 review. This is expanded into three parts. Last year's review only had two. <laughs> so, um, sorry about that. Uh, but this is the lower lot mazes. This is going to be Insidious, Evil Dead, Black Sabbath, and The Walking Dead. So we'll start with The Evil Dead. Now, The Evil Dead was is based on the remake. Uh, the 2013 remake, which I saw and thought it was, it was, it was decent. I think the original is better, <laughs> even though it's kind of cheesy. Um, I think the original is way better than the uh, remake. The remake was more gory and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, um, this is this is one that's based on the remake. So when you first walk in, you're walking through the woods and basically you see the part where she gets captured by the branches and it. It injects the thing inside of her to possess her. And basically, after you walk through the woods, you end up at the cabin, and you walk in, and there's the guy with the glasses, and he has the Necronomicon, and he opens it, and he's basically reading what's in it, and sets the stuff free, like a retard. No offense to retards out there, but this guy is an idiot for reading it. But, um... So yeah, and you're walking. You're basically walking to the cabin, and you see different elements from the movie. Like uh, you end up in the part with the basement where she's slicing her tongue in down the middle. Um, you also see the part where the the that one girl, um, her arm gets like possessed, so she has to cut it off. There's that part in there. There's the part where it shows her um, where they trap her in the floor in the well on the door to the basement. They have that where she's coming out of the trap door. Um, they also had this for Not Scary Farm, but it was the log ride. I feel like that log ride could have had way more potential. Um, but this definitely was... I have, sorry to say it, but this was... Well, it's, I mean, it's easy to say that it was better than not than what Knots did, because this is an actual maze that you get to walk through. But um, I would say that they this the Universal portrayed this better than what Knots did. Um... But I mean, I guess it's kind of easy to say since this is a maze and the uh, Knots did it on the, on the log ride. But um, anyways, so it had like the different elements from the movie. I thought it was really cool, the ending. Um, I, remember, this has spoilers and stuff in it, so if you don't want to, you don't want your time spoiled, then don't watch this, uh, don't watch these videos. Um, so yeah, at the end, it had the part where she was chainsawing the shit out of herself. Which was basically the demon, I guess, where she chainsaws through the mouth, and it starts raining blood at the end. They had that part. I thought that was a really good ending to the maze and the movie. It's really cool ending to the movie. Um, so yeah, I'll give the Evil Evil Dead uh, an 8.5 out of 10. Really good maze, um, very detailed. Um, the remake uh, was pretty pretty good. The original is better, but uh, this is pretty good. So, uh, moving on to Insidious, I did not get to do Insidious because, like I said, we didn't get front of the line passes and I had to wait in line. And the lines that night were incredibly long for some reason. Um, it, was op it was really crowded for an opening night, but I understand it was a Friday. Um, so I didn't get to do Insidious. Um, but I did see Insidious on YouTube, so I can review it because I know what happened. So basically, you go through the house. The this one is in the Jurassic Park area, by the way. Um, where the Texas Chainsaw was last year. Um, so basically you enter the house and you go through the house and you're walking through and it has, ele oh, of course it has elements from the movie. Um, you're walking through and you you basically, um, one of the rooms is uh, has that part where they're doing, I guess, I guess it's like a seance kind of, and you walk through and she has the gas mask on and, um, and uh, basically like they're summoning whatever is in the further is what they call it. Um, in fact, the maze is called Insidious Into the Further. Um, oh, the, and the Evil Dead maze was called um, Evil Dead, um, The Book of the Dead. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty pretty clever. Um, so back to Insidious. So you're going through and you end up in the further um, with those people with the creepy-ass smiles. Um, and um, you end up in... Uh, you're like going through the the children or that guy the little kid's room. His name's Dalton, I believe. You go through his room, and um, you go through the part with the baby. You go through that room. Um, they have the characters. Uh, they have the the red demon guy. I guess it's supposed to be Satan or something. 
I'm just... He's a red demon. I don't know if it's supposed to be Satan, but he's he's some red creepy demon thing. And he's in there. Um, you go through his lair, and it's playing Tiny Tim, tiptoe through the tulips, which is pretty much the... This, this movie pretty much made that song... Um, it pretty much made it, you know, famous. I mean, I guess it was famous before because it was Tiny Tim and he has a funny voice. But this, this song, I mean, this this movie pretty much brought, you know, that song out into the public, more into the public eye, and made it a creepy song now. So, um, <clears throat> it's playing that in his lair, and you go through the further where they have little creepy ass smiles, <laughs> and um, I think they added a little bit of stuff from Insidious Part 2 in this maze because you go through the baby's room and you see that lady not not the lady with the from the first one with the candle you see her too but this is the different lady from the second one um, you see her in there and um, that's basically the whole maze um, I didn't get to do it so I can't really uh, give it a, a fair review but from what I saw on YouTube it's a pretty good maze pretty pretty eerie pretty creepy um, so I'll give it a 8 out of 10 because it's a pretty good I heard this was a really really good maze so um, moving t uh, down to the next mazes which were the Walking Dead and Black Sabbath and to get to these mazes you had to take the tram because these were in the scare zone of the Walking Dead like I said in the scare zone video you had to take a tram to the scare zone and you had to take a tram basically that means you had to take a tram to this maze to these mazes so, uh, first one was Walking Dead. I didn't get to do this one either. Like I said, I had to wait in lines, and this line was ridiculously long. Ridiculously long. So was Black Sabbath. Um, we'll, we'll get to that one last. Um, we're going to do The Walking Dead, because I saw it on YouTube, like I said. This one is based off Season 3. Um, so, the facade in the front of the maze was, the, was uh, the prison. So, you're walking through, and they have prison walkers. You end up inside the prison. Um, basically, the same thing from Season 3. They have the room where um, where Lori gave birth to Judith, so you hear the baby crying, and you they have the phone in there when Rick is going crazy and he's talking to the dead people. Well, he talks to Lori, Amy, you know. So he ha they have that phone in there and it's ringing, and they have um, you know basically the prison is overrun by walkers. They have that. Um, they have uh, the guy. They have um, that one guy where it was where they first uh, when they cut off Herschel's leg and they find those group of prisoners, basically the head guy that he, that Rick, like totally like, whack with the machete in the head. They have him in there. They have the Walker that he thinks ate Laurie. Um, he's in there. Um, they have the, they, you go through Woodbury, uh, so you go through the part where you go through the governor. Uh, governor's office where he has the um, wall of walker heads you see his daughter Penny um, and basically you're just going through Woodbury and stuff like that so um, Walking Dead I'll give it an 8 out of 10 I'm actually I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 uh, just because it's repeated but it's kind of new season 3 um, really good season by the way it's now on Netflix I watched it already all of it <laughs> now I'm waiting for season 4 which comes out this weekend yes I'm excited. I'm excited for Walking Dead Season 4. So, um, yeah, um, that was Walking Dead, 8.5 out of 10. Really good maze from what I saw on YouTube. Wish I could have done it, but oh well, well, well. Last maze, Black Sabbath. This was the last maze I did. Oh, no, this was the second to last maze I did because the last maze I did was the Boogeyman. Um, this one is Black Sabbath. This is the maze I came for. This is the maze I wanted to do all night. Um, this is this was one that me and Kyle did by ourselves because we were the ones to go to the lower lot by ourselves um, while everyone else did their thing. Um, <clears throat> so we went through uh, Black Sabbath by ourselves, and goddamn, this maze was freaking awesome. Well worth my well worth the wait. It was a really long wait, probably maybe I probably waited that maybe an hour, a little bit more than an hour for this maze, probably. And um, this maze is well worth the wait. Um, it was all old Black Sabbath. Uh, it's called Black Sabbath 13, um, but it was all old Black Sabbath, all all Aussie Sabbath. Um, the albums they didn't go th they didn't go through um, a lot of the Aussie albums. They went through the f they went through the first album, uh, Black Sabbath, Masters of Reality, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, uh, Paranoid, of course, and I th 
I think that's it. I think there's just the four albums. But, um, so the first thing you walk into is the graveyard from the first album cover. So you walk in and there's the graveyard and basically it's playing um, Black Sabbath that da, na, na, and he says what basically it's that song the for, for the first room and you walk in and it says what is this that stands before me so they have this guy on on stilts and he's all covered in black because he says Fig, figure in black that points at me you know so you walk through that and you walk into this church and basically it's playing NIB so da, na, 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 da, na, da, na, 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 and it you know, in the song he says, my name's Lucifer, please take my hand. So you're walking through and it's playing NIB. And um, it has uh, Satan, basically, and he's like, basically like sacrificing this girl, I guess. And it's playing NIB. And there's like three Satans behind, like, you walk in, there's Satan right here. And then there's Satan's like right here on the side of you. And you walk out and you walk into this graveyard and it's playing Children of the Grave. That was really cool. So you walk out, playing. it's playing Children of the Grave. So, dun, 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 you know, that riff, it's playing that, and you walk into this place called Osborne Asylum, where they're playing Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, but it's the part in Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, where he says, um, where he's singing really high that, where he says, where can you run to, uh, you know, all that part, you know, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, nothing more to do, you know, and so it's basically this guy, and he's like sitting in a chair, and they're drooling his head, and, you know, it's all these crazy people. And from there, you walk into, um, I think you walk into Paranoid, where all on the wall, it has lyrics from Paranoid written on the wall, like, finish with my woman, you know. It says, it says I'm Paranoid on the wall, and it's playing Paranoid. And basically, in that room, it has this guy, and it has this girl um, on the table, and her intestines are spilling out. It says, finish with my woman, which is pretty funny. So that's pretty cool. And after that, you walk through what I think, I think you go through War Pigs, and it's basically you're walking through a war bunker, and there's literal war pigs in there. There's pig, it's people with pig masks and they have the helmets and it's playing, you know, um, it has the siren from the beginning and it, it does that opening riff that, da -da, but it doesn't do that, uh, it doesn't say, you know, generals gathered in their masses. It goes to that, it instantly goes to that part where it's like, da -da -da, da -da, da -da, you know, that part. So it's playing that part when you're walking through and you end up in front of this, uh, in this, uh, in this yard. And it's playing Iron Man, and it has the guy um, from Never Say Die. Or I think I think it might be Iron Man. No, no, I think it's the guy. I think it's the guy from Never Say Die because ha he has the jet, he has the jet mask on. So I think it's that. But it's playing Iron Man, and you walk into this house, and basically it's toxic waste everywhere, and it starts playing Electric Funeral. Uh, electric Funeral. Um, so that's really cool, and there's like mutants in there, there's like a monster that comes out and he's all like, you know, covered in toxic waste and mutated. And so, um, after, you know, you see this, you see, um, on the windows it has this proje uh, projection of a bomb falling, and, you know, it's, it's playing electric funeral, da -na 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 -na. so that was really cool. And then you go through this like, I, I think it's like a fallout shelter type of thing, and it's like... I think they're. I think it's playing the riff from Into the Void. I think that's what it is. I don't remember very. Like I don't remember what it was. But that was that was pretty much uh, after that you walk out. So I thought that was a really 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 cool maze. I'll give Black Sabbath a nine out of ten just for its originality, and um, just because it's Black Sabbath, it was really cool. Um, best maze of the night in my opinion. Um, so it's a nine out of ten. Something new. It wasn't a sound stage. So, uh, I wish they could have, you know, made it bigger and longer, put more Black Sabbath in there, but, um, it was really good, really, really good maze. So, that's pretty much it. I didn't get to do Insidious or Walking Dead, like I said, but if I did do it, it would have been really, really cool. I could have gave a better review on those two mazes. Um, but that was pretty much, uh, Halloween Horror Nights 2013, so, um, again, uh, in the comments, uh, let me know what you guys thought about the lower lot mazes. Um, tell me your experience about uh, how your experience went at Halloween Horror Nights 2013. Um, really quick, I want to show you what the shirt looked like. Um, it's, uh, it looked like this. It says, uh, so this is what fear tastes like. And here's the back. So you got the mazes, No Safe Haven, Walking Dead, Evil Dead, Monsters Remix, Black Sabbath 13, El Kukui, Terror Tram, and Insidious. And right here it has a walker. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me your experience about these mazes, give me your review, and I will see you guys later.